The latest ranking of top countries in maths and science is out and Australia is falling behind. As a nation, Australia was significantly outperformed by nine countries in the OECD, including Japan, Canada and Singapore. And there's been a steady decline in results here since 2000. Taking a closer look here in Queensland, scientific literacy scores at 507 were much lower than Singapore's high score of 556. Maths literacy scores at 486 also fell well short compared to Singapore's 564. The Federal Education Minister says he's open to recruiting more highly qualified teachers from overseas, but educators say that money would be better spent locally. Nicole Chettle has more. Science was the main focus of this year's PISA study of more than half a million 15-year-olds in 72 countries. Australia was ranked 10th in that subject. I believe there is a stigma around it being boring or too hard, but I still believe that anyone can do it if they put their passion to it. Today's science students are, on average, six months behind where they were back in 2006. Reading and maths are on the slide too. Across the board, our results have gone backwards, and that is just not good enough. These students are going to be competing with students from Singapore, students from other countries in the world for global jobs. So in that, in that sense, they're not going to be terribly competitive. The results are prompting questions about how we can do better. These kids in Sydney's west are taking science to new heights, preparing a project to be launched into space later this week. It's hands-on and I feel like the information we're learning can definitely be applied in real life. It's the kind of innovation teachers hope will inspire future leaders in science and engineering. I think there is a place for old school teaching. Um, however, where the jobs and career paths are heading towards, they need to upskill and pick up these new skills. Asian countries performed particularly well. Students in Singapore are more than two years ahead of their Australian counterparts in mathematics and 18 months in science. We do have some gaps in terms of uh, teacher numbers in science and maths, particularly in high schools. And we also know that in primary schools that many teachers don't feel confident in teaching maths and science. To fill those gaps, part of a solution could be changing visa laws to bring in more teachers from overseas. Ultimately, if we do need to get uh, more specialist maths and science teachers into the classroom, that's a discussion I am very open to having. These international results are timely. Federal, state and territory education ministers will meet to discuss funding next week. Nicole Chettle, ABC News.